between furry girls and furry animals, they're both nice and warm. Seven years after being commissioned in 1952, the aircraft carrier Eagle was taken out of service to be completely modernized. The largest rebuilding program ever undertaken in a royal dockyard, the bill was almost twice as much as the cost of the original ship, a bill for 31 million pounds. But for our money, we've got the most powerful and most highly automated warship in the history of the Navy. Our commanding officer, Captain Empson, says the money's been well spent. He claims that only through the modern aircraft carrier could we ever use our air power on a worldwide scale. The nerve centre of Eagle, and the reason for many of those millions of pounds, is a complex system of electronic computers. Three separate systems, all British, which use computers to select the right target on the ship's radar system. Almost instantly, the computers calculate its position, range and bearing. Working out half a million sums in a minute, they save the work of 60 men. Eagle's air conditioning will make things a lot more bearable when she's on her Far East trials. As well as selecting targets in the air, on the water or under it, computers keep a calculating eye on such things as the fuel level in the tanks of the aircraft and indicate when they should be called back to the carrier. Steam catapults are so powerful they can launch any aircraft in service, no matter what the direction of the wind. We all know that defence policy is being re-examined, that multi-million pound projects like Eagle could be shelled at the stroke of a pen. Eagle's been redesigned for an effective life well into the 1970s, and this could ensure her prospects for the future. If so, it'll certainly soften the blow for us taxpayers. After all, we had to fork out those 31 million pounds. 